Welcome back to Med Smarter, where we're taking a smarter approach to preparing future physicians. Let's continue on and discuss uh, some of our Medicare and Medicaid policies. So what is Medicare and Medicaid? Well, these are social health care programs that originated from the Social Security Act in 1935. So Medicare. Medicare ends with an E. Medicare, that is for the elderly patients. So Medicare is for elderly. Specifically, anyone that is equal to or greater than 65 years of age is eligible for Medicare. There are other groups of people that are eligible for Medicare insurance as well, and those are going to be people that are less than 65 that have certain qualifying disabilities or uh, patients with end-stage renal disease, or ESRD. Medicaid, on the other hand, Medicaid, which ends in a D, is for the destitute. This is going to have a mixture of our federal programs and state programs that provide assistance for patients that have limited income. So patients that are on food stamps, patients that are on welfare, people that are poor, that is going to be uh, the, the patient population for people on Medicaid. So back to Medicare particularly, Medicare has four different parts to it. All right, We have part A, B, C, and D. Part A is going to be coverage for hospitals and home hospice. So if you need coverage for a hospital visit, you have to have Medicare Part A. Medicare Part B, this is uh, what helps pay for your medical bills when you go see a doctor, when you have tests run, that kind of thing. That's Medicare Part B. Medicare Part C is a combination of Parts A and B. And that is usually provided by a private company. Uh, a lot of times people will have supplemental insurance on top of their Medicare to help cover anything that Medicare doesn't cover, and that's typically going to be a Part C plan. And then finally, Part D is what covers prescription drugs. So patients need to choose which of these parts that they uh, want with their plan and may have to pay some out of pocket uh, to add certain parts to this, specifically uh, prescription drugs. So if you are... Uh, needing prescription drug insurance coverage, you may have to pay some out of pocket on that. All right, finally, we're going to talk about hospice care. What is hospice care? Hospice care is patient care that is focused for end of life patients. So we're trying to provide comfort and palliative care for patients that are at the end of their life. What is considered end of their life? Well, typically, based upon their diagnosis, we're talking about their life expectancy is going to be less than about six months. Can patients go into hospice care and then maybe make a turn for the better and come off of, of hospice care because, because we think that their life expectancy is greater than six months? Absolutely. Uh, there is uh, instances where patients will go in and out of hospice care because they may make a turn for the worse and they think, and based upon the medical evidence, they have less than six months to live or they may come back out of it and start doing well and, and go off of hospice care. Hospice care specifically is going to be prioritizing comfort and relieving pain. So we will give opiates, sedatives, uh, anti-anxiety medications, uh, probably at higher uh, doses and higher intervals than a normal patient because we're really trying to make sure that patient's comfortable uh, at the end stage of their life. We are prioritizing that over potential side effects like respiratory depression. If we give more oral morphine to patients, it's going to depress their respirations, but it's also going to make them more comfortable. Uh, the prioritization of these positive effects of, of helping patients feel more comfort and, and less pain, that is what uh, is called the principle of double effect.